inside the city of Memphis, there are a lot of really cool and different neighborhoods that you can live in. If you're thinking about moving here and you want to be in the city, you like that urban living, you may want, uh, you may be curious to know what, what are the best neighborhoods? What are the different styles of neighborhoods? What, what do some have, the others don't? We're going to be talking about all that in this video. We've got a list of the best neighborhoods for you to consider moving to right here in Memphis and we're about to get after that right now. Hey everybody, I'm Chris. I'm Jared. We're here with the Moving to Memphis channel and y'all if you're new to the channel, what we're doing here, we're getting you all the information that you'll need to know if you're thinking about moving here to the area about Memphis, the neighborhoods here, the suburbs around Memphis. We're covering all here, giving you the info, telling you, showing you around those areas as well. If that's what you're looking for, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. That way you'll get notified when all those videos come out. We've got a lot coming out. They're coming out every single week and you don't want to miss it. And you know, if there's something specific you think we should cover, uh, if you've got a question about this video, you think we missed something, you think we need to give more information, hey, put that down in the comments. We don't know unless you tell us. So make sure you get down there and leave us a comment as well. And y'all, if you are watching these kind of videos, you've subscribed, this is what you're looking for. There's a good chance you are that person who's thinking about making a move here to the Memphis metro area. And if that's you, you got to take this one step further. Yeah, reach out to us, give us a phone call, send a text, an email, whatever you can do to get in touch. Let us know what you're looking for so we can help you find that perfect place. That's right, y'all. We don't want you singing the blues on your way to Memphis with that move. We want you to have a good experience the whole time here. So y'all, in this video, like I said at the beginning, we are talking about the neighborhoods uh, inside Memphis. We're in the city of Memphis today. We're not getting in the suburbs in this video, although we have another video about that, which I will pop up somewhere around here that we kind of talk about all the different ones. And like I said, there's a lot more coming. So stay tuned for those. But we're talking about the neighborhoods within Memphis. And we didn't really want to give you our list, uh, you know, because we, we only have one perspective. So we went out and got online. We found us a list uh, that kind of covers a lot of the neighborhoods. We want to tell you uh, kind of what we know about them, uh, where they are, and kind of give you some extra insight on top of what you can maybe go find. Because the articles, I mean, I looked and, and I think the, the newest article we could find was from maybe 2017. This one's from 2016. Um, okay. But the neighborhoods are the same, but you know, some of the info has changed. So uh, we're, we're gonna get into this, you can see here, and I'll link this article below so you can see it as well. Um, but we're inside the city of Memphis here. The first one that they pull up is Midtown. So Chris, what do you know about Midtown? Midtown is one of my favorite spots in Memphis. I mean, the life, the, the nightlife there is great. The vibe is great. Everybody's welcome no matter who you are, you're welcome in Midtown. And it's a pretty big area. It covers a lot of great neighborhoods. A lot of historic districts are in Midtown. Um, great restaurants are there. Um, festivals are there. The Liberty Bowl sits right inside Midtown as well. So I love Midtown, Jerry. Yeah, and so this article we noticed here, they give a they give Midtown and they give some other neighborhoods. Um, and if you look, most of these, that's what it does. But but really, locally, we kind of group those into uh, into Midtown. So there's, so there's a lot of those districts uh, and historic districts within Midtown. So you're gonna see those on the list here, Midtown. Uh, and if we keep scrolling, we've got Cooper Young, which is another one, and then Crosstown as well. So those are, those are some of those districts within Midtown. So how does that all break down, Chris? So I would call those neighborhoods with inside Midtown. It's a 38104 zip code. Um, I think Crosstown may leak out to 38107, but the majority of them are 38104. Um, Cooper Young, that's a great area. It's, it's Everyone is welcome in Cooper Young, I promise you that. Um, yeah, and that, Cooper, Cooper Young is cool too because when you come into it, they've got the, uh, you go under this, uh, I guess, little bridge overpass where yeah. they've got, uh, and it tells about it in here, where they've got the little houses, which it says are, are, I didn't know this, they're modeled on houses within the neighborhood. Okay. I don't know if you knew that. And then right there next to that, they've got that big, uh, I love Memphis. I heart Memphis yeah. there. So You'll you see that all over Instagram. It's a big uh -huh. red sign. I heart Memphis. Everybody's got to get a photo op in front of that when you're in town. Yeah, but what about, so if you want to live in Mid Midtown, the Midtown area or Cooper Young, uh, you know, what kind of stuff is available in that part of Midtown? Uh, so the Cooper Young has some great restaurants right down, going down Cooper. They call it Cooper Young because Cooper is a road that goes south and it crosses over Young. So that's where you get the Cooper Young name there. Um, but there's a great restaurant right there, Cafe Ole, Soulfish, um, several other new ones, but, and it's a great nightlife there as well. I think Memphis Made Brewing is down there, so you get some craft beer, original Memphis Made, Memphis Brewed beers there. 
Um, great place to have a good, good cold drink with your buddies. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know that that, uh, that with the soul fish, yeah, we we had that yeah. uh, a couple weeks ago. It is pretty good. They got some good chicken. There. Soul fish is good. great. When they opened that restaurant, Jared, it was just a small little, you know, single shot restaurant. But they added on to it, put the big pavilion out there. So I think they're doing good business, obviously, yeah. because that that got, renovation yeah. cost quite a bit. They got uh, other locations too. They do. They've expanded so out. I think they've expanded out into Cordova. There's one in Germantown. Um, there's maybe one or two others. I'm not sure. But great food there. You got to get the chicken. The chicken wings there is great. But of course, you know, it's soul fish. So you got to go for that fried catfish and hush puppies as well. Yep. And, and I, one of the running themes with, with pretty much all of Midtown is uh, it's it's very inclusive. I mean, it's and they put that out there. I would call it a judgment-free zone. No yeah. matter who you are, you're welcome in Midtown. All right. And then uh, kind of, you know, kind of moving around Midtown, you've got Crosstown too, which uh, that's kind of got a unique little history to it as yeah. well. Yeah, Crosstown's a newer development. I mean, it, it may be five to 10 years old now. Um, well, it's at least five years old because this, this article's five years old. <laughs> so I, I would put it in the last 10 years, but Crosstown was the original Sears distribution center. So when you got the Sears magazine or the, back in the day where everybody ordered from the Sears catalog, it came through the Sears Crosstown right there in Memphis. Yeah, and I mean, that's just, um, and it's neat. There's a lot of buildings like that all over all over town, including the one that we're in, where it's you know it's it was something, and they've come in and renovated, and revitalized it. They did. Um, so I like that about Midtown. Other stuff in Midtown, you got the big Overton Park there, uh, which is a big thing. Yeah. A huge park there. That's where the the zoo is. They've got a big dog park there as well. Yeah, they've got the uh, Levitt Shells there. Yeah, you got the Levitt Shell, which uh, which actually I, I didn't know this. That's where Elvis gave his first. Uh, paid performance. Yep, there. first paid concert by Elvis was at yeah. the Levitt Shell. They've got the museum, the Memphis Brooks Museum is there as well. The yeah. Brooks Museum of Art is the name yeah. of it. Let me get that right. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of cool stuff there. I mean, if you just want to get out on the trails, they've got a lot of trails for walking, hiking, that kind of stuff too there. There's a nine hole golf course there. It's a it's a public course, but it's a great little course. It's a good, good learning spot for kids because it's kind of short. Um, but you can walk it for the most part, and it, it's a fun course to play. Yeah, if you watch enough of our videos, you're probably gonna see me say I'm not a golfer several times, and definitely not. Chris says I need to go because it, it'll make you feel like you're pretty good <laughs> yeah. at golf. Yeah, if you play at Overton Park, you'll feel like you're a good golfer because the, the par fours are short. I don't even think there is a par five on that course, but I don't know many people that are good at golf, yeah. Jared. Just people just play golf, man. Maybe so. Yeah. I gotta get out there. Get out there and practice at Overton Park. But yeah, there's there's a lot. I mean, there's there's more than what it gives you here. There are a lot of districts in there. They all have their own kind of unique history. They do. Um, different styles of houses too. You've got kind of that, you know, that really, uh, I'd say the, the hip young part. You've got some older uh, homes in there. Some of those have been redone as well. So. Yeah, the homes in Central Gardens Historic District, man, they are beautiful. I would call them mansions. They're huge. They've been there since the early 1900s. Um, it's a beautiful area. You've got huge crepe myrtle trees everywhere, giant oak trees within the neighborhoods. So I love Midtown, man. It's a little bit for everybody there. Yeah. There's a couple colleges there too, as well. There's a Christian Brothers University is in Midtown and Rhodes College is there in Midtown as well. Yeah, and so I know your wife went to one of those, right? My wife went to CBU. She graduated from there, so I spent a lot of time there with her. That's why he spent a lot of time in Midtown. I did. I was chasing that pretty girl <laughs> from CBU. That's exactly yeah. right. And, and you got married there in the big, now the, the church you got married in that now is part of the university. Yeah, there, it right? was Evergreen Presbyterian Church when we were married there. That was my first church I went to as an adult. And uh, But actually, Rhodes actually bought that. So now that's yeah. part of the Rhodes campus. Yeah, so hey, you, you, th this man's got a lot of history in Midtown. So if yeah. you like Midtown, I don't know who better for you to call. I love uh, Midtown. Than Chris. Overton Square, you got to visit Overton Square in Midtown. Great shops there. You got the candy shop, Memphis Pizza Cafe, Babaloo's, Bosco's, Pale, Pale Beers there, Ale Beers, I should say. Yeah, more than you can remember. You got that music rent Lafayette's. Yeah, the Lafayette's music, room, music room there for live music and good drinks. So, so that's a happening spot, of happening part of town right there yeah. at Overton Square. So even if you move here and you don't move to Midtown, you probably will end up in Midtown a little bit if you like to go out and have a good time. Hattie Lou Theater, we got to mention that. Yeah, that's a really cool one too because yeah. they do like, uh, they, they really go the way to feature, um, you know, kind of African-American produced and, and, and done films yeah. there that are, that are made there. And, 
kind of give them a stage where I, I guess maybe some of them, you know, it's maybe difficult to, to get that. So um, it's that's, really cool that they yeah, do that. That's back, back to the all-inclusive part yeah. of Midtown. Everyone is really, truly welcome in Midtown. Yeah. So uh, we, we can talk about Midtown for a long video. Maybe, maybe if you watch, there's a whole other video about Midtown. I uh, love Midtown. I'm partial to Midtown, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, you... You spent a lot of time there. Yeah, a lot of history there. Uh, moving on down, we've got another, and, and with this article, kind of the run theme here is they give you like the, the umbrella and then they're giving you a few pieces here below is what we've noticed. So downtown is going to be the same way because uh, you've got that core downtown, downtown area, but you've also got several areas around it as well. Uh, and you can live downtown uh, in the area. And I want to say just, I don't know if we mentioned this at the beginning, this article is five years old. So if you go in here and read this and you see, you know, the rents, um, I take that with a grain of salt or, or not at all, or maybe add about 50% to it because it's, yeah. the rents have gone up a lot. Home prices have gone up too, and you know, in the last five years, a pretty good bit. But, yeah. uh, but rents have gone up. If you watch this in two years, rents are going to continue going up. That's, yeah. that's how that goes. So uh, keep that in mind. So, so don't really worry about those numbers that you see this article. Maybe you find one that's maybe worth today. Yeah. We Reach out to us. We'll tell yeah. you what the rent, rental that's rates are the, and the what the best. price range is for, for new homes. Yeah, y'all. But downtown, so if you want to be in that core downtown area, uh, that's where you've got a lot of the, the things that you, you know, if you think about Memphis, most people know Memphis, you know Bill Street. You do. Right? So that's downtown. Uh, what else is downtown there? Man, you got the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid is downtown. Everybody knows it because as you're coming over the Memphis Bridge, you'll see the giant pyramid sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the uh, Bass Pro Shops. Um, you've got the Pinch District, which sits right there with the with the, the pyramid. So that's good. That's a great time to be had during St. Patty's Day. Yeah, and it's just, it's so, when you come into Memphis, if you're not, if you hadn't been here before, the first time, it's just... Seeing the pyramid sitting, <laughs> sitting there, it's just it's just so different. And then it's a Bass Pro Shop now, which is, it's only been that way for, what, four or five years? Yeah, five, maybe five years now. So, but it's really cool that they came in and, and did that there. Yeah. But but you've got that, you got, uh, you know, if you're coming into town to visit, you got the Peabody Hotel down there, you can go down and see the ducks. You can. Uh, you can do all that there. Um, you got the Orpheum Theaters downtown, yeah. so we can see all the Broadway type shows that come to town. I've seen Hamilton, my, my sons love to go see the Lion King there. Yeah, Rendezvous Barbecue. Rendezvous down Barbecue, down that's that a big tourist night. spot. So you gotta try the Rendezvous if you're in town, but you got to break out to the local spots too for the uh -huh. barbecue, right, well, Jerry? I know, I know that's right. I, I I actually had never tried rendezvous. Uh, you, it's been a while since you've been. Uh, the last one I had tried was Central. Central was pretty good. I'd say they're both really good. You know, I, I don't even know if I can pick a favorite between them. Yeah, the Central Barbecue is in Midtown as well. I think that might have been the original location over in Midtown, but yeah. they've grown, they've expanded. Yeah, they've got them all around. But I will say Rendezvous has a cool location because you go and you're like you're basically in the basement. You are. Uh, the building there you go down into. So it's We were talking to the waiter last night. He said they've been in business for like 70 years. Yeah, 70 since, yeah. or I, I guess roughly 70. I think he said 1948. Yeah. They've been in that spot. And the waiters there are all, they've been there for like 50 and 40 and 30 years. The waiters that are serving you at the rendezvous, they're seasoned professionals in that restaurant. Mm -hmm. and, and think about, that's not an industry where people stay for that, for that long. No. So, so they're doing something pretty good there at rendezvous. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff downtown. You can live down there. They've got, uh, they're renovating a lot of buildings all over town. You could have kind of loft style. There's some older, older buildings down there too that you can get up in if you want to be up high overlooking some stuff. Uh, you can do that downtown. Uh, but also down there, we're going to move around. So over there by the pyramid, if you jump over, uh, kind of cross onto kind of that Mud Island area uh, across there, you've got Harbor Town. Um, mm -hmm. So. Uh, what do we got in Harbor Town? So if you're not into the condo life, you don't want to live in a building in, in like a condo association, but you do want to be in the downtown area, Harbor Town is your choice. Um, yeah, I mean, there's and there, there's a, kind of some mixed stuff there. They've got some apartments too and some other things, but but you do have a lot of you know, a pretty good size of single family homes in their neighborhood, and uh, a lot of what I like about it is not it's not even remotely cookie cutter at all they've got all different kinds of styles there you've got ultra modern you've got uh just your kind of more classic look and kind of everything in between you really do um so it, it's a pretty cool area over there they've got a little their, their main little strip there you've got uh some different restaurants and it um really good and then there's that uh, they've got a grocery store there on the corner which is just a small little grocery store but they've got 
a huge wine selection. <laughs> They've got some other stuff there, there. So it's kind of a neat place to, to check out as well. Uh, Montessori School right over there at Harbor Town, and then uh, across the street, uh, uh, closer to the river, you got the Green Belt or Greens Ward area there mm -hmm. uh, with the trail running up and down. Yeah, that's a great area. You can step out your door on Arbor Town and go across the road there and just walk up and down the river at the Greensward or the Greenbelt Park. Um, everybody's walking their dogs, they're jogging, exercising, riding bird scooters. It, it's a great spot of town. Yeah, if you want to get a house in there too, if you're looking to, if you like, you want to, like you said, you want to live in the downtown, but you want a house. Um, there's a pretty good range there. If you want to be kind of overlooking the, the river, I mean, that's getting up around a million dollars, maybe more in some instances, depending on the house. Uh, but you can you can have that right there. You can have a house looking over that park, looking over the river. You got the big bridge there, so you can see kind of the LED light show at night. You can pretty easily right there. Uh, so it's it's a pretty cool spot. Kind of almost feels like you're a little separated from downtown, but yet you're you're right there. You're right there. Cool part about. Growing up, I remember going to Harbor Town and sitting out in the Greenbelt Park and watching the fireworks show for July 4th and New Year's Eve. So one of the best spots to view the Memphis fireworks is right there in Harbor Town. Yeah, so that's a cool place. But we're gonna we're slide on down this article here. Uh, the next one here, and I wanna group with this. So you've got South Main uh, or the South Main Arts District. Mm -hmm. um, it's another area where you've got a lot of revitalization. You've got older buildings that have, that, you know, the people coming in and fixed up. They got different kind of businesses there. You've got uh, lost style places. And, and here's a pro tip, if you're coming into town and you wanna explore this area to think about where you wanna live, there are some really cool Airbnb places that are that will be cheaper than all the hotels around. And, uh, and they're pretty cool place, places to stay in. So uh, check those out. They've done a lot of cool stuff with that there. Um, the reason I wanna group though with South Bluffs is because you do have some places, there's there's residential areas along that that you can live. I would say it's mostly hotels and commercial type space, retail yeah, space, like shops. Retail space, restaurants, um, bars, things like that. Yeah, I would say the more residential component of that South Main is the South Bluffs, which is gonna be kind of between there uh, and the river and going down a little bit farther south from there. And you can get uh, a pretty good variety of things there. The condos, uh, what, what, what all you got in South Bluffs? Yeah, more condos, kind of like townhomes down the South Bluffs. Um, that's where we are now. We love this area. It's, there's a different vibe down here. I mean, everybody's in a good mood. They're walking their dogs, they're exercising. You can step right out on Riverside and see the river. It's a great view. One of the best views in Memphis, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, you can ride right down here, hop on one of these little scooters they got, and uh, we, we did this. <laughs> it, it's in another video, but you actually you see this in the, the intro. You watch, you see us ride by on scooters. We're going up here to the bridge, yeah. uh, to the, uh, the that's the the Harahan Bridge, right? Yeah, the Harahan Bridge or the old bridge. Uh, but that's where they've got the big river crossing there. You can actually walk all the way into Arkansas. Yeah. So that's basically right here, uh, just I say adjacent to the South Bluffs. Uh, but you got that there your uh, Amtrak, if you come here, if you're coming from Chicago, you can come down or up from New Orleans, Amtrak station is right there. Uh, that hotel too, that, that, so the station there has a hotel in it too. Okay. And it's a really cool place to, just to go hang out, honestly. Yeah. They've got some, kind of a neat aesthetic. But if you stay there, uh, they've got some pretty cool stuff there too. Yeah. So. They've got the farmer's market right there. They've got a Malco theater with the big reclining seats. Um, like recliners in there. So that's a cool spot to see a movie too. Yeah, I will say, so for, for as far as the South Main, um, I like, there's a, lot, a few things I like. I mean, I like this. This is probably one of my favorite areas in, in Memphis, but but uh, one of my, my go-to spots there, you've got uh, Bluff City Coffee right there on South Main. Yep. You've got, uh, and, and it's, it's good, go check it out. Even if you just want breakfast, don't go to Starbucks, all these places, go somewhere like that, local like that. Yeah. They've got some really cool pictures of uh, like Memphis from like 80 years ago on the wall there, blowing up really big black and white. Uh, and the uh, one thing I'll tell you too, they, they'll do breakfast, like they give you a sausage biscuit and it's, it's a double sausage biscuit. So they nice. give you a double sausage and you do chicken biscuit. So uh, that's a cool place. And then right down from there, you've got the arcade. Yeah. Uh, restaurant there, which uh, you know Elvis' favorite restaurant, yeah. or I don't know if it's favorite, but it's where he used to go to get that uh, the, the famous uh, banana. Was it it's fried banana and yeah, and fried banana and peanut butter sandwich. They'll serve it to you if you ask for it. So just ask for that on the menu. They'll give that to you and just eat like a king in there, right? Yeah, eat, eat like the king, <laughs> the, king. the yeah. king. And you can even sit in the booth, like you sit in the booth where he used to like to go. Uh, they said like so, it's kind of like a mirror there. So he would sit facing away from. 
the you know kind of the rest of the restaurant but she kind of had the mirror so i don't know okay. i don't know how that works kind of anything i was asking about it last time we've been there so okay. one of my favorite spots to eat downtown is the blue monkey we had lunch there yesterday yeah, that place did you like too. it man that place is really good it's yeah. a neat little spot man there's a lot of these little kind of dive spots where you got mm -hmm. all this kind of I don't know, it's just, it's a, it's a cool vibe. This is, it's a cool vibe, kind of young vibe area down here, and it's just fun. And you don't have to be young to be a part of it. You can, no. you know, but it, it's fun to do. But yeah, you got that, you got the nice views down here. You can get those. Uh, there are single family houses here in this area, kind of overlooking the water, you know, if you want that. Again, it's some, a lot of different styles. There's some, there's one that is really different to kind of, yeah. Yeah, I think I've got a drone clip of it. I'll show you, but that one's a really different one. So that one's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, prices, you can probably find a condo around. I think the condos start in the mid 200s oh, yeah. for like a more of a, a loft, stock, loft type place. Um, you know, maybe one bedroom, a kitchen and a den. Um, and then they go upwards of half a million dollars for the condos, maybe even more. And the homes down here, they're 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 a little pricey. They they start probably around five hundred thousand and upwards of a couple million, just depending on how nice it is in the view. Yeah, I would imagine these up here. I don't you know. We'd have to check, but I mean, I, I'd, I'd imagine they're well over a million. But they're big. I mean, they're big houses. They are pretty close together. I mean, you're, yeah. you're not getting much of a yard, but you look out your back, and most of them have big windows because you got that great view right over the water there, and you got the park. I didn't mention the park. Mm -hmm. uh, the park they're sitting out here working on right now. They're uh, revitalizing the uh, Riverside Park right now. It's supposed to be one of the best river front, river fronts in the country when they get finished with it. I, I read an article the other day there was going to maybe be a Ferris wheel there, so that'd be cool. That will be pretty cool. Like permanently there? I think so. Man, they're moving, they're moving really you know fast with that. It's They've done a lot of work in the past six months since I've been down here in this new office. I love it. Yeah, so if you come to Memphis in May, if you come to Bill Street Music Festival, that's where that's going to be. So. Uh, I don't know when they're going to be done working on it, on it, but I suspect it'll be prior to next May because <laughs> they're going to want to be able to do that there. Um, but let's let's go. We've got more to talk about. I want to get hot up there. So they've got Binghamton here on the list, which this is to tell you where this is. It's kind of north of. Uh, it's close to Midtown and close to and north of uh, the University of Memphis. Yeah, there. So that area there. That's a, that's a nice area. There's a lot of pride in that community. Those those homes are what were they built in like the early 40s probably maybe yeah, something like that yeah yeah so that there's a lot of pride in that community you got the people that have lived there forever but then you've also got the investors that have come in and kind of turned it into a, a there's there's several homes for rent in that area yeah um, i would say it's probably one of the more affordable, affordable areas it to is. get in there and they, like i said a lot of rentals available there if that's what you're looking for uh and again you're close to midtown you're close to yeah. the university there um you know so i think i think probably you get a lot of college students there you get some stuff like that too yeah. in that in that area uh but then that one is right next to uh the university district which is where you do have the university of memphis Memphis Tigers, all oh, that's right here. Yep. Um, and so it's another one where you're gonna again have a lot of college students. Uh, what else is around, right around there? So the University District is cool. There's the Pink Palace Museum there, um, the Audubon Golf Park, um, or Audubon Golf Course. It's Audubon Park with the Audubon Course yeah. there. Um, great homes there. They were built in probably the early 40s, the mid 50s around that area. Um, you've got the Highland Strip where all the college kids hang out. Newbie's Restaurant there is a big deal. Um, or um, uh, restaurant slash bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's I th that's the thing. If you're if you're by college, you're gonna be whatever slash bar. Right? Yeah. I've seen grocery store slash bar. I've seen that's all right. kinds of stuff here lately uh, that you can do that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, something I'm not familiar with, and you may know it. Single family homes. They have a lot of that there that, that's available. Or they're yeah. yeah, they do. There's, there. That's primarily what it is in the university district or single family homes. There's a few new apartment buildings near the near the school, near the college. Um, but once you reach out past the just the the campus of University of Memphis, you find mostly single family homes. Yep. Um, and then kind of moving on with the progression east. Now we go to uh, East Memphis. East Memphis. And uh, now that's a that's a nice area out there. With some of the homes out there are. Uh, are pretty nice. Yeah, there's million dollar homes in East Memphis for sure, but there's also Colonial Acres in East Memphis, which is 38117, huge area. That's where everybody moved to when they come back from World War II. So those homes were built in the early 50s. Um, they all have nice mature trees in the yards. That's a great area to invest in, to live in. And um, that's a great part of town. It's huge. The 38117 is probably one of the larger zip codes in the area. Yeah, so if you want a bigger house, Maybe a, a little bit more affordable than 
the big house overlooking the river right down here. Uh, you still get a big house. You'll be close to, again, the Midtown and all that stuff. You can easily get downtown, all that stuff. Um, and kind East of Memphis sit- is mostly contained within the 240 loop there, yeah. but it does spill out to the other side of it by like Baptist East Hospital. Um, uh, Christian Brothers High School is there. That's a private school. A lot of kids attend that school. Um, but yeah. That's a good area. Yeah, so easy to get out and around from there because you're right on, since you're right on that loop, so if you, you know, you're trying to get on the interstate, you're right there close to it. You try to go down, downtown, yeah. you can go that way too. Some of the more affluent neighborhoods in East Memphis would be like uh, Pigeon Estates or Bell Mead. Those are big, beautiful homes in that area with huge yards and big mature trees and beautiful flowering bushes in the spring. That's a pretty part of town to visit during the spring. Yeah. Uh, and then kind of moving again, kind of getting outside of that 240 loop, uh, you got Cordova. You got Cordova. Cordova was, I'd say that. That's a suburb of Memphis, which is now kind of, Memphis has taken it over and brought it into the city limits. Um, But man, that's one of the largest. Cordova neighborhoods seem to go on forever. You got (laughs) Riverwood Farms, Countrywood, um, several others I'm sure I'm leaving out of. Wolf Chase, basically there where you got the mall. Yeah, you got the Wolf Chase Mall, which is Cordova, Bartlett area. Kind of bleeds into Bartlett a little bit, but you're, you're kind of bordered up against that, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's a, that's a big area and that's, that's about as far east, I guess, as you go and stay in Memphis. And yeah, I would go, think so. Once you get past Cordova, you are getting into that Bartlett, uh, south of there, you go down, uh, you know, that's where you're getting, going towards Germantown, uh, outside of the city of Memphis. Yeah. Um, homes in Cordova. So there's a huge range of homes in Cordova. I mean, they start in the probably 150s at this right now and go to upwards of a million. Um, So all different types of neighborhoods in Cordova, but like I said, it's a huge area, Jared, and the neighborhoods just seem to go on and on and on forever. Yeah, Um, and that is the end of their list. Uh, You know, obviously these aren't all the neighborhoods. Uh, We try to add a few to this that are subsets of some of these. Um, Man, there is a lot of cool places that you can live in Memphis. It's a lot to really know and um, the only way that you really are going to find out all of that is number one, subscribe because we're going to be covering them here on this channel and uh, click the bell. Let us know in the comments if there's one in particular uh, that you are interested in. And uh, I will say this too, I'm going to throw this down because this article doesn't mention uh, schools or anything like that. These are all meant for city schools you hear. Uh, uh, Shelby right. County Schools. Shelby County, I mean, yeah, sorry. Shelby County Schools here. So I'm going to put a link to Shelby County Schools on niche.com. Uh, that'll give you a breakdown of these different neighborhoods and different school yep. district parts of it or, or zones that, that serve these. Uh, so you'll get that you, if you want to see that down in, in the description below. But yeah, make sure you subscribe, click the bell if uh, you haven't already done that. And then y'all, if you are thinking about making that move, reach out to us, give us a call, um, send us a text. We want to help you find the home. We want to talk to you about the different areas in town and let you know what's what would best suit you and your needs. Yep. We want to make sure that you don't end up singing the blues about your move here to the Memphis area. And you know, when you get here, you see this, look, yeah, I got on my Grizzly shirt. We went and called a Grizzlies game last night. Yeah. Um, if you like basketball, when you get here, maybe we'll, maybe we'll go catch a game. Oh, you know? this is a basketball town. If you're a basketball junkie, Memphis is for you. Yeah, that's right. Hey y'all, it's it, it, it's a big deal here. They, they get excited, man. We get some of the some of the crowd is though, it's just as entertaining as the game. Yeah. As entertaining as the game is, and they do a lot for you. All right, All right y'all. That's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Again, stay tuned. We've got a lot more videos coming out. So I will look forward to seeing you on the next one.